caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the Wonderful morning. I'm just gonna tell you what the trolls do. They are dumb and dumber. Sooner it will catch up to you. Know that there is a god out there that will be my redeemer. He'll be vengeful along over the ground, waiting where your blood drip. Be anyway, hi guys. <laughs> <coughs> Ashley from Norway. Ah, oh, Ashley from Norway. Let's just let's just get a little thing onto her. Yeah, you're putting she, laugh now. She took every little donation she gave us and clawed it back without even providing proof that there was service or goods. So I I let PayPal know who she is. And we'll find out how they'll take care of the situation of this woman. Oh, are you going to see what PayPal's going to do with this woman? PayPal's not going to do shit. And I hope Anja got every single penny she gave you two worthless losers. Okay? Good. Stalking us and clawing back money that she gave to donations. And she does it only because my husband did not receive... Her come on onions. And she did that because she, my, my husband was not interested in her come on. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I'm just so devastated in Norway that Rev didn't return her advances, which we all know were fake. And um, he fell for every single trick in the book. But, uh, yeah, she's heartbroken, so she's asking for her money back. She never owed you a penny to begin with. Ever. The second that she gave you ten bucks and you, you two losers had the audacity after she just lost her mom to ask her for more money and more money and more money, you're damn straight. I hope she got every fucking penny back. Nobody wants Rev. <laughs> Nobody does. Don't be ridiculous. You're the only idiot that would be with him. And you were only with him because he had money. And now he has nothing. So, <laughs> have fun with that for the rest of your life. Now, I got a little information about this chick, Ashley, from Norway. Hmm. Apparently, she was part of that group that tortured and had Aaron Carter so depressed that he took a bunch of drugs and killed himself. The group that bullied and tortured Aaron Carter until he committed suicide? Are you fucking stupid? Speaking as someone who knows a lot about Aaron Carter, because we all know that Rev said, Oh, Ella Tallulah, she's obsessed with Aaron Carter. Well, Aaron Carter's been passed for a while now. Um, he died of addiction, you fucking moron. He died of a very long, long, ongoing addiction that finally killed him. And I'll happily discuss anything that went on with Aaron or anything I spoke to Aaron about or anything Aaron-related because your dumbass doesn't seem to understand. And I don't know if you have me and Anja confused because I don't even remember Anja being a part of that. But uh, nobody bullied him to commit suicide, you fucking idiot. In fact, the last thing that I wanted was for him to actually die. That was what I didn't want to happen, Shannon. She was part of the torture team of Aaron Carter. To which she thought, hey, let me go to Shannon, oh. try to torture her to suicide. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, Rev, settle down, because I know that you think that this justifies your disgusting behavior. Sadly, it does not. I know now you feel like, oh, Shiny's on my side against this woman. Wrong. We all see you for the little scummy weasel that you are. Scummy little weasel. Exactly! Shut up. And that ain't gonna work. No, it didn't work, because you're stronger now. 
it didn't work, did it? Your little, here's my pussy, here's, here's my tattoos, here's my boobies, I, you need to have me, have me right now. <laughs> I think there's a little bit more to my husband than looking at pussy and ass, you know? Yeah, there, there is. Uh, there's a little bit more to your husband than pussy and ass. Uh, he's a porn addict, a self, a self-diagnosed porn addict. But he has way more to him than just lo looking at pussy and ass. Okay, like what? Give me one good quality about Rev. Go. Yeah, there is. Yeah. You like putting poor people in the hole <laughs> because you're mad, my husband and return your advances pick on poor people you two are just losers who don't work okay she gave you a lot of money i i know every time she donated to you and she has every right to take that money back considering that rev called her a whore and every other name in the book so nobody feels sorry for you uh and trust me she's again <laughs> she never wanted anything anything from Rev. It was all just to show what a piece of shit he is and how shitty of a person you were too. <laughs> you wish that was the case. You wish that it was her wanting him and he didn't he didn't respond. You wish. He moved to Norway with you in some weird fucking thing. I, I mean... Ugh. You know how many times I've had this happen to me and him? You, you, you know how many times we've gone through the same thing? I mean, they tried it with me, with advances with men, and then they tried to do it with advances with lesbians, and that didn't work. Uh -huh. uh, so they were like, ah, let's, let's go to Jason and try to go and appeal to his weaknesses. I never cheated, I can say that. Well, yeah, the girl's in Norway. Well, I'm saying with any of this shit, I've never cheated. So, any of these attempts to do this shit, nothing ever happened. No. So, can you guys just quit fucking with me? I'm not going to commit suicide. Jason's not going to commit suicide, and we're not going to break up. I don't want either of you or anyone to commit suicide. Anyone to unalive themselves. Ever. Ever is that ever something I want for anyone, okay? Right. In fact, we probably are going to stay together just to spite you fucking assholes. Yeah. For spite. No, I'm, no, we're together because we love each other. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, but it's always something we say, like, let's not break up even if we wanted to, to just spite them. We've said that to each other. You might feel that way, yeah. <laughs> it's sick someone wants to, wants someone to end their life. Yeah, well, that's who Anja is about. That's who Ashley is about. She goes and bullies people and, and screws with their marriages and does whatever she can to get people to end them, their lives. That's the type of person she is. That's the type of person who these reaction channels are promoting yeah. right now is someone who caused Aaron Carter to commit suicide. Stop saying that Aaron Carter committed suicide. You sound moronic. Even people that didn't have anything to do or follow Aaron Carter know that he didn't commit suicide. You're just saying that. Shut the fuck up. Nobody wants you to commit suicide. Nobody. Not a soul on this planet that I know of. That's because who, that's who they ate. Suicide and we're not going to break up. Right. In fact, we probably are going to stay together just to spite you fucking assholes. Yeah. For spite. No, I'm, no, we're together because we love each other. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry that's repeating itself. That's my fault. But um, it wouldn't surprise me if you two just stayed together for spite because there's no love there. <laughs> that's right. But it's always something we say, like, let's not break up even if we wanted to, to just spite them. We've said that to each other. And I feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick someone wants to, wants someone to end their life. Yeah, well, that's who Anja is about. That's who Ashley is about. She goes and bullies people and, and screws with their marriages and does whatever she can 
to get people to end their lives. That's the type of person she is. That Anja never made anyone unalive themselves, ever. Yet you're still saying it. Maybe you should look into slander laws there, sweetie pie. That's the type of person who these reaction channels are promoting right now is someone who caused Aaron Carter to commit suicide. Okay, you can say Aaron Carter unalived himself a million times and it still won't make it true. Um, it's really easy to find online. But anyway, um, here's the funny part. Uh, here's what's sad is that you are sitting here bashing Anja and throwing all these slanderous, absolutely untrue things about her. Um, saying all these things about her that aren't true because you realize that you have no other option but Rev. You have no other choice but to forgive him and to pretend like it was all her. It's, she's the villain. It wasn't anything he did, right? You, you realize how ridiculous, how sad that this is the man that you're stuck with for the rest of your life because you won't get off your ass and actually be an independent woman. How pathetic. I don't envy you on any level. I couldn't even imagine being stuck with that little baby carrot weasel. That's because who, that's who they are, too. That's who they are, too. You're into the same thing. And, and everyone who's participating with that is responsible for that, too. Responsible for what? Responsible for what, Shannon? Are we gonna again say that they're responsible for Aaron's death? Because you're really starting to piss me off, Shannon. I don't think you want to do that. I don't think I'm anyone you really want to tangle with. Me being a reaction channel to you and Rev's nonsense is one thing. Don't tangle with me, Shannon. We went through this a couple years ago, remember? It didn't end well for you. Don't push me. They pick on anyone they sense any type of weakness with and go after them. They're a bully suicide gang. That's what they are. Yes, they are. And people really need to start being wise <laughs> over this. Mm -hmm. Instead of joining in with the crowd. I think it's funny, yeah. It's not funny. You're killing people every day. The more people you pick on, the more people you kill. Yeah. That's, uh, that is fact. Murderers in your hearts, you are. Murderers. I can't find the clip right now because I, I just cannot locate it. But we all have seen Shani in her bed naked laughing hysterically at someone's death. So this does this this isn't hitting right for me. You're you're not innocent, Shani. You literally laughed at the death of people that you didn't like on the fucking internet. But everyone else is murderers. And, and, a, and a bully, a bully suicide gang. Oh, God. I can't. And you can go try to giggle and talk your way out of it. That girl was part of the Aaron Carter suicide clan. Go promote her. Like, yeah. You stupid fucks. Yeah. Go promote her. Have fun with that. There's no suicide clan because there was no suicide. So who's the stupid fuck, Shannon? Who is the stupid fuck? Maybe she'll put her eye on you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll feel lousy. Oh, they'd look at her pics, definitely. Yeah, you would. They definitely would. You would. They're not that impressive. <clears throat> Married or not, they'd be looking. There's one thing you forgot. If you want to really get my man going, the woman you throw at him, should have a big ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Not some flat ass. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> and unfortunately for you guys, I have a very nice big ass. Yes. And it's contoured very uniquely, so it's, yeah. There's not gonna be one that's that I'm gonna like more. That's just the way it is. There you go. That's just true. And me, I'm organizing my meds. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's them. Of course, it's med time. That's why Shiny's in such a good mood. Shani, I hate to break it to you, but um, that's not an ass. That's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of fat on top of your butt muscle that should be tight and athletic and juicy. That's a nice ass. Not not what you got going on, sweetie. I think it's disgusting. Omprazol, Deloxetine, Meloxicam, Gabapentin, Amoxicillin, and Cyclobenzaprine. Okay, I got 
have to take them. You can continue on. Sorry. Yeah, I just think it's disgusting. Oh, wow. For someone who's dying, whose health is just dramatically dropping by the day, you're on a bunch of bullshit meds that they gave you to shut you up and get you out of their office. That it's possible, and, and I don't know what's with PayPal's policies and, and, and how they make decisions and stuff. It's very bizarre. But I think it's disgusting that someone that wants to weaponize their donations after they no longer like you can just claw their money back with no consequence and you're negative in your account with no response. They just take your money. <laughs> so she did get her money back. Good. I'm so glad. I'm so, so happy for her that she clawed her money back. You're damn straight she did. And I'm glad you're negative. Who are you going to go e-beg from now? Try to get fired again from Burger King. If you can if you can find any place that will hire you. What are you gonna do? No one no more Anja to give you fifty dollars a day, you fucking weasel. Or lack of money, they put your account in negative. And then what happens with PayPal if your account is in negative too long? They just cancel your PayPal account. So it's once again donations can be weaponized on the internet this it's absolutely insane and it's the policy to paypal that's a problem if it's if something's a donation it should be known as a donation and clawbacks are not something that should have, be able to be done that's ridiculous you know what's ridiculous that you think that donations especially in this circumstance of straight chaos and negativity you think donations are a right that you have for coming and showing your ugly little mug online. That's not how that works, okay? If somebody donated to you and then decided, these people are garbage. I want my money back. They have every right to do that. It's their money. Got it? They earned it. You didn't. So they get to say where it goes and what's done with it. And if they want to take it back from you, you're goddamn right they can. Maybe don't be such a little fucking loser and uh, you won't have these problems with all of your pay, pay places. They seem to all get canceled. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? Cash app gets canceled. PayPal gets canceled. That doesn't happen to me or anyone I know. How come it happens to you guys so much? Because you're fraudulent, scamming, lying pieces of shit. Or lack of money. They put your account in negative. And then what happens with PayPal if your account is in negative too long? They just cancel your PayPal account. So it's once again, w donations can be weaponized on the internet. This It's absolutely insane. And it's the policy to PayPal that's a problem. If it's if something's a donation, it should be known as a donation. And clawbacks are not something that should have, be able to be done. That's ridiculous. Yeah. There should be a process where you go, okay, so PayPal goes, this person has claimed to have been frauded out of their money. What do you have to say before they do anything with your account? And then they get two sides of the story and then make their decision. That's how it should work. How is it that they, she can just say, oh, I was scammed and get her money back immediately? But she did, didn't get her money back with the last couple ones. Right. Yeah. Oh, she will. She'll get every single penny back and I'll make sure of it. Okay. Don't count on it, sweetie pie. Because they know it's bullshit when they see it. Yeah, especially when it's labeled whale talk. Oh my god, like what? What is, what's that? They're so lame and immature. This is disgusting. It's really, really disgusting. And I think it's horrible that PayPal gives these people a tool to use. To I think it's absolutely disgusting when a grown-ass man kicks a child. But, you know... We all have our own things, right, Rev? You think it's so disgusting PayPal was able to give her her money back? Too fucking bad. To, to defraud you. It's wrong. Now can we send you anything? Um, yeah, you can send on the Venmo and the Cash App. Yeah, that's not in the negative. Yeah. Um, you want to send money, Venmo and Cash App. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do not, please, please, do not give these people 50 cents. Please don't because they will not appreciate it and then they will just harass you for more every single day if you do thank you <laughs> but these these people are just they they don't know when to quit they don't know like they they want to see me commit suicide yeah and it's just not going to happen
Amen. Because I'm smart enough to know and be on them in their games. That's why I'm making these videos right now. Okay, you want to play games? Well, I'm going to tell you what kind of games you're playing. All right. How about that? And what kind of games are you are are we playing here? Like what what are they? I'll wait. The game that chick is playing is uh, I didn't get Shannon to commit suicide, so now I have to go and claw money. Maybe maybe she'll get mad over that. No, not really. I just think you're a dumbass who doesn't respect boundaries. Yeah, and if we really want to PayPal back, we just make a new PayPal. And, and isn't there laws in Norway? I, I mean, I have your address, honey. I could send the police to your house right now for cyberbullying and stalking, and you will be in jail. Oh, Shani's going to call the Norwegian police, send them to Anja's house, and she's going to be arrested for cyber-stalking and harassment? Because she spoke to Rev uh, back and forth on the internet. She didn't threaten to kill you guys. She didn't threaten to come to your home and harm you. She didn't, you know... Uh, <laughs> listen, for those of you who don't know me, like, you know, my outside life, I have been cyber-stalked and harassed severely. And I had to go to the lengths of getting this person um, arrested and put on probation for what she did. It took three years to do it, and she lives in the same country as me. Not the same state, but the same country. Um, you calling the Norwegian police about cyber-stalking, thinking you can get Anja arrested, is hysterical. For someone who, who really thinks that she's so intelligent... You really are dumb as a box of rocks. Like, do you ever Google anything before you open your mouth? You sound ridiculous. You can't do shit to her, okay? Stop it. Stop yourself. You're the one that gets arrested, Shani, not, not anyone else. You, you know all about, about those, uh, those, <laughs> those metal bracelets. <laughs> Double-sided. If I wanted to... Because there's laws in Norway against this stuff. You stupid dumb shits. You know, and then you give me your address? My god, you're dumb as shit. So I have your address. I know where you live. I can easily call the area where you're from in Norway, get, get an English interpreter, and show them the proof of you stalking and harassing us. And then you'll go to jail in Norway because there's laws against that stuff. Um, Shannon, we all read the uh, conversations, emails, and Instagram messages that went on between uh, Anja and Jason. And I can promise you on everything, um, that isn't enough. Nothing within those messages would qualify as a cyber stalking or a harassment uh, behavior of any kind. She wrote something, he responded. She wrote something, he responded. This went on for a couple of weeks. Um, you're butthurt over the fact that she looks better than you and it is what it is and um you um you really are gonna sit here and threaten to call the norwegian police and say this girl ashley anja who lives at you know 100 norway way norway Norway 112237 <laughs> Lane <laughs> spoke to my husband via email and I don't like what was said between them. It, it, it went on for too long. I found it inappropriate. I don't like it. It made me very angry. She sent him 
unsolicited nudes and I want her arrested immediately and that person is gonna hang up the phone and the police are just gonna jump in there on their Viking what, what a Vikings ride someone help me the Viking police are just gonna just run right over to 100 Norway way and just throw in jail forever that's what your deluded med- medication soaked brain actually thinks thinks enough to believe it to come online and say it yikes like oh my god this the the secondhand embarrassment is so painful but you want you want to go and try to say that i'm a scammer that i'm a lawbreaker when you guys break the law all the time let's just look at the things that you're promoting right now you're promoting adultery you're promoting affairs you're promoting stalking you're promoting name calling like a child. You're promoting uh, defaming people, dehumanizing people. You're, you're you're guilty of doing illegal activities like popping tires, uh, going around and giving letters to people and telling people how evil and defaming people's names. I mean, you are going and breaking every single fucking law you can think of trying to get to me. Oh, wow, yeah, every law, every law in the book where people are trying to use to get to you. Um, you were never harassed by Anja or like in any way, shape or form. Was she harassing Rev or you? And then I'm the bad guy. It's ridiculous at this point. You guys really need to hyper-focus on yourselves and realize what you're doing wrong in your life. Instead of focusing on someone who's not breaking the law or doing anything bad, I'm just living my life. But I've had enough of it. Uh Uh-oh, are you two telling secrets? I don't like that, Revy. No secret telling, okay? Yeah, you're okay. I got you. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. Say I'm a horrible person when you. Don't worry. I got gotcha, you, is what she said to Rev's little secret, whatever. I guarantee it was like, thank you for forgiving me. Fucking pathetic. You're, all of you are breaking the law and, and stalking someone who wants nothing to do with you guys. Go ahead. Keep saying I'm a bad person. But I don't do what you do. Oh, Shani. I have made you the bad guy many, 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 many times. But I stood up for you this time. I thought you were 100% right. So stop yourself right there because I was on your side. I was on your side and I thought he what he did was completely inappropriate and scummy. And I would be upset too. So it's not everyone all the time that thinks that you're a bad person. I don't I don't make packs with people to try to get people to commit suicide. Like you guys do. That's your problem, not mine. But I'm certainly not gonna give my life for your cause. Because you guys are pathetic at this point. Don't you find it unusual that Foodie Beauty's husband cheated and now Jason is the one that cheated? (laughs) They follow the same script. What script are you talking about? Like, what planet are you from? A a script? Who wrote it? Jesus? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? They follow the same script and they do it over and over and over again to just a couple people who they choose who seem vulnerable to them. Yes, we look for vulnerable people, Shani, to talk about online and, uh, you know, in our satanic uh, suicide cult. And they're dumb enough and they do it at the same time. Like, yeah. You think people can't catch on when you're doing the same thing to a bunch of people at the same fucking time? Don't. 
You guys really need to get some mental fucking help. Yeah. Peace and Maranatha. So that was what I call the blackout video. I just added videos so you guys had something to look at other than a black screen because Shani uh, was too much of a coward to show her face on camera. And I would be too, um, especially after the shit show that went on the other day and all of the things that we watched and that disgusting fight and how horrible it was. The reality is it doesn't matter what Rev does to Shannon. He could cheat on her, he could beat her, he could do whatever. She knows she's got nowhere else to go. It's here and this, the other step down is a homeless shelter. She's stuck with Rev because she has no one, there, no one else. No one else is gonna wipe her ass. No one else is gonna run out and buy soda for her at two o'clock in the morning. No one's gonna do those things except Rev. So don't complain about it, Shannon, because you have nowhere else to go. You've lost your children. You, this is your third husband. And um, this is your life. Get used to it. If you don't like the way that people react to you online, stop behaving like a behemoth online. People will have nothing to react to. Your boyfriend slash husband or whatever you want to call him went out and seeked out another woman's attention and continued and continued and continued until you until you caught him and then he lied straight to your face you allowed it and here we are and then he's sitting there thinking oh i'm fine now i'm all i'm all i'm all good she's back on my side shiny you're a fool and if any man would have done that to me he would have been a distant memory but you're not strong enough for that and i get that I, I, I've cre I have created so many music playlists because I've gotten either deleted channels or, or I've had to delete them because people were trying to hack me and they got through to my email and shit like that. I just want to have music to listen to, but uh, I should just get rid of the fucking account. But we opened up the email and boom, there she is. Like, oh, I, I this is like, she's still in this, like seeming like she's pursuing me mode, which is like, dude, I know for, from the start, none of this was genuine. I know that. None of this was organic. And, and I, I should feel, I guess, the way that Draven says about us, it's like, someday you're going to realize, guys, that nobody genuine wants to speak to you. I heard him say that, and I was like, you know what? I think he's right. We've been so harassed that the only people that choose to come to us is people that want to hurt us. That's really a sad state of affairs. The reason that people come to you um, in a non-genuine in disingenuous, negative ways because of what you've displayed to everyone on the internet. You have no one to blame for your own behavior but yourself. And if you want to put it on the internet, don't expect people not to react to it or feel a certain type of way about it. That's part of being on YouTube. People are going to like you. People are going to hate you. Get used to it or get off. But I think in general, aside from a few people that are kind and haven't shown that aggression... Uh, I think he's right. I really do. You just want to come in and create problems and then see some kind of dramatic blow up in a video. That, that's really, you're addicted to this. It's a dopamine hit. And it's very unhealthy. And it makes you do ungodly, horrible behavior. You two came on here and have said that your fights, your disgusting fights like the eviction fight, was acting. So if you're so concerned about what people have to say about you two, why would you put stuff on the internet that you know people are going to react to and then say it was performance art? And now I'm supposed to take you seriously? It's not, and I don't. Nobody does. And it can trigger people into suicide ideation. Horrible things. And you just laugh. You do you all I, every time it comes up. Why do you guys do this? We're doing it for the lulls. You'd be laughing at a person dead because they couldn't handle the bullying and they got to the edge and. Got Shut up! Shut up! What are you rambling about? What are you rambling about? Your dumb, ridiculous wife sat there and laughed at deaths of multiple people and said it was because God was on her side and she was going to strike everyone dead that crossed her. So take your Christianity bullshit and shove it up your ass.
how quickly we forget the behavior that you and Shannon displayed over the past God only knows how many years. It's on you, not us. I pushed over the edge. This has happened many times on YouTube. And other places. It's horrible. But you should you guys should know that this girl is still in my emails. Per how is she still in your emails? I thought you blocked her. I thought you blocked her, Rev. She didn't make a second email, so I guess she didn't block her. Another lie. Pursuing me. Now, I, I do it this way. Pursuing me. Because I think it's all fake. You're right. It was all fake. She was never pursuing you. Like, a woman that looks like that would pursue you, Rev. <laughs> Because you, you have so much to offer someone like Anja, right? Let's be serious. Of course it was fake. I, she said right from the start, I, oh, I pretty much found you from Draven's Crypt. And like, yeah, you're from Draven. So you're, you're probably going to try and screw me in some way. You're probably going to try and make me say things that I shouldn't say. Stuff like that. I knew from the start. So if you knew from the start, from the very first communication with her, and you knew she was going to probably do all these terrible things to you, then why did you continue day in and day out to ask her for more money and more money and more money and more money every single day? If you knew all these terrible things about her and what she was going to do to you, then why would you proceed to speak to her? Oh, that's right, because you're so desperate for 10 bucks over getting a job that you'll talk to anybody. So spare us all the, well, I knew she was gonna do something because it didn't matter. You still spoke to her anyway and you still took her fucking money. Fuck off. And that email, it's a, yeah, the language in it was fucking weird. It was a poorly crafted email of what I was saying to her. It was not to get her fucking nudes because I'd already seen her nudes and was like, Whatever. You know, uh, I mean, if you have to know, you know, I'm into like pod, big butt, white girls. And her ass was like flat. I saw. Oh, Rev. Oh, Rev. You're not going to sit here and say that her nudes, you were like, oh, whatever. Because you're a self proclaimed, self diagnosed porn addict. So any woman sending you nudes, especially someone that looks like that, uh, I'm pretty sure you weren't like, eh, whatever. Let's be realistic. <laughs> Let's be realistic. And as far as her ass being flat, sweetie pie, let's let's not make body judgments on anyone, okay? Let's not go there because you're not going to like where that takes you because uh, I'm sorry, but... Shani, uh, that's not an ass. That's just a lot of fat layers. Not fast. It was fast. Because Shani just went like this to me. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Okay. Block her. <laughs> just block her. <laughs> but you didn't. But you didn't. She sent those pictures and you never blocked her. She's probably still not blocked. Block her. The only reason I ever came to this person in messages was to thank them for a donation. Somebody said, hey, hey, this person gave some money. And they did. And then she dropped like 50 bucks one day. And I'm like, holy crap, this is like incredible. We need money. We need money. And you guys hate it when I come on here and e-beg, right? People get annoyed with your e-begging because it's been going on. You've been living at your uncle's house for two and a half years. Prior to that, you were begging for money because you were getting kicked out of the last place you lived in. Your e-begging, a little e-begging here and there when someone's in need is one thing. Completely just taking advantage of people when you sit on your ass for years upon years and do nothing to help yourselves. Yeah, people get annoyed. Nobody wants to give a lazy ass motherfucker like yourself money. Sorry. Those people worked for their money. They got up and went to work every day for their money. They don't owe you shit. Do the same. Get a job. I think it's pathetic and uh, go suck dick, Rev, if you want money. That's what's said to me a lot. Yeah. It's funny. To see people suffer and starve is very funny. So yeah, if I see somebody that gets 50 bucks, first of all, I'm going to go to them and say, holy shit, because I know it's hard these days to give money to people. Thank you. That's the only reason I clicked on her name ever on Instagram. 
well, that was just an outright lie. Because again, do you forget that I have all of your your communication with Anja? She sent you 10 bucks and you continued to ask her every day for more. The $50 didn't come till much later and you were in full blown conversation with her behind Shani's back. So try again. That's not the only reason you clicked on it. <laughs> You clicked on it because we all know why. We all know why. So stop trying to save yourself. Accept the fact that you are caught and apologize and move on. The end. But that's what this was. It was it was the, the reaction assholes doing what they do. And Draven will tell you, no. Okay, I want people to know. I don't tell people to do anything. And I probably in most cases believe that. Have you never done that, Draven? I don't know. You probably have told so-and-so to go and do this to get Rev and Shani. You've probably done that. Once or twice. But in this case, yeah, it probably is organic. I don't know if she really does like me in that way. You don't? <laughs> you don't have any idea if she really likes you in that way? Let me give you a hint. She doesn't. She never did. She was just showing what a piece of trash you are. Again. I don't know. At this point, it doesn't matter because what she's proven to be is a home wrecker. Because even after this stuff that happened last night and she knows what happened and she went to the reaction channels and gave them shit, it's clear what this is to me. It's like crystal fucking clear what it is. Break them up. We want the videos from the breakup. Why? No one wants videos of you two breaking up. Nobody cares because we all know that's never going to happen. Ever. Never, ever, ever. I mean, you got some rage fest shit right there. We gave you some good content. And it was like 57 people in the room. Yeah. It's so disgusting that we have to be like screaming at each other horrible shit for viewership to spike like that. But it just shows me that 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 what the main audience of, of where you get numbers is you got to act like a piece of shit. Abusive. And then you'll get views. Do you mean to tell me that all of that disgusting behavior that you two displayed the other day to 56 people in the chat is how you get content and how you get viewership? Do you hear yourself right now? Do you hear how sick that is? No one should have ever seen that, what went on between you and Shani. You guys made it a live stream and got 56 viewers and you think that that's... That's what successful a successful stream. You are Delulu. That's gross, and I want nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I am going to do my best to stay off of this. She doesn't have your best interest. Cut her out of your life. That's exactly what we did. That girl with the cute kids. She's blocked on here, and she's blocked on the email for good for good. It doesn't matter what money she gave. It doesn't. I said to Shani, if I could give back the 150, roughly, I think it was around that money m amount, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, about 150 bucks. I'd go in the negative in another account, give it back to her. Oh, really? Because you and Shani said that uh, you were just boo-hooing that she clawed her money back. <laughs> Try again. Because that shit's not worth it. To ruin your marriage that I love my marriage, to ruin it, for the sake of a poorly crafted email where I was literally just trying to say, if you're going to send that type of shit and you can't help but send it, send it to it this email because it would go in a black hole and I ain't going to see it. I never used that email. I, the only reason I had that email was to create a YouTube channel that no one would know it was me ever and uh, have a music playlist. But then I started putting the smules on it and I renamed it Reb and Shani and wanted to do something because I'm constantly wanting to do something with this because it was a big part of my life for a while. Well, unfortunately for you and Shani, you guys have ran these YouTube streets so far to make people dis dislike you so much that nobody cares what you do. Nobody gives a shit what you do on your channel because nobody, nobody cares. You're not interesting. You're not entertaining at all. The YouTube thing was a big part of my life and I really enjoyed it. But I have to remember that it's, it's a new day. It's a new day in, in, in uh, the treatment of people on these platforms. Uh, and I just have to remember that and never go back to it.
like karaoke. I love karaoke and I think it's fun and I don't care how good or bad I sound. I don't give a fuck. It's just fun. Like Von Helton, he used to do that shit all the time. He'd do karaoke and like stream it and stuff, you know? It's fun. It's just fun. So, yeah, she's probably going to be going around the reaction channels and making rounds and like maybe go to Teddy Bear and, uh, I don't know. Jules has been cool with us lately, but, you know, maybe she'll show up on Jules and Geek Room, all those channels, and she's going to say, yeah, I was his mistress and stuff like that. When was, There was like two emails. She's not going to tell anyone she was your mistress because that's ridiculous. She was in another country, and there was far more than two emails, Rev. <laughs> far more than two. Try like 20 and up. And that was it. Back and forth. Two. And all the Instagram shit. Now, could it, they, they could t Photoshop fake shit because they've done that. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to try to say that people are are changing the communications between you and Anja. You're not going to try to start that shit because you were caught and you know it. Do not try to say that people are, are now changing the communications and changing the text messages because you know that's bullshit. Take that excuse and shove it right up your ass to the left. They could t totally just create conversations easily. It's not hard. You can usually pick it up because you could see that something's out of place in the, the way the text looks. It's a little blurry and weird. Yeah, but they do that all the time. They create fake messages to incriminate people, so... At this point, I'm just going to drop this shit. She's gone out of our lives. She ain't coming back. For no amount of money is worth that. To lose your marriage, it's not worth it. Unfortunately, by her behavior, she showed herself to be a home wrecky type of thinking woman. Just so you're aware, home wrecking takes two. It doesn't just take one person. It takes two to wreck a home. Remember that. Uh... In the conversations I had with her where it was innocent and she was telling me about Norway or, um, you know, she said she liked horror movies or she, there, we were talking about like haunted stuff and she was telling me about a time she went and um, uh, toured like an ha a haunted area and she was she almost peed herself and stuff like that, whatever, you know, she seemed like a pleasant person. But a homewrecker is a homewrecker and it pretty much looks like that was your main goal. And a porn addict is a porn addict, and it looks like that was your main goal, you little fucking weasel. How dare you blame someone else for what you did? She's a stranger on the internet. She doesn't owe you or Shani anything. You, your uh, involvement with her is the problem. That was the issue. Stop yourself before I embarrass you. For either Draven, and you're just being paid by Draven to do this, and people like Draven, you're being paid. Or it was genuine, and you really thought I was hot, and you, you were doing it genuinely. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Yeah, she thought you are right. She thought you were hot. That's really what it was. She just thought you were so irresistible. She, she couldn't help herself, Rev. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Because I'm married. I'm in a relationship that I want. And uh, I love Shani. And I feel like absolute shit. I feel like shit that this happened. So. You should feel like shit that this happened. You should feel like shit that this happened. I'm glad you feel like shit that this happened. That's about it. And no, I didn't create any of this. I didn't create any of this. This person uh, was inserted into our lives, I think, probably by reaction people. I won't keep putting it on Draven, because I don't know if it's just Draven. It's probably Draven, Drader, uh, Dragnaut, Geek Room, Frank, Bran, all of them. That's who, that's who put this in, not me. You're a terrible person, and you'll never take accountability for any of the fucking horrible shit that you've done. You'll sit there and act like you, you're innocent when you are just as vile as they come. Not me. I didn't do shit. I, 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 I sent a poorly crafted email. That's what I'm guilty, guilty of. Why would I ask? Listen, this is, this is the last thing I'm going to say, say about it for my own sake, to stand up for myself. Because I had no sexual intention with this woman. You ask yourself, why would I ask for anything else? When I'd seen everything on Instagram to see. I hey, Jason, 
innocent people do not need to defend themselves. They certainly don't need to make three to four to five emails defending themselves. Innocent people don't have to do that. I had already seen it and was like, oh, okay. I wasn't that impressed with what I saw. That's just truthful. I was like, oh, okay. But Shani is the one that showed it to me and it's like, yeah, oh my God. Like, just block her, she's done. Yeah. I gotta do my best to stay off of here. I gotta do my best to, uh, I would love to stay in contact with nice people. And and that's that's wonderful, good stuff, cool stuff. Um, but this, this, I am gonna be literally, if I'm talking to a woman, I'm gonna be like, like Shady's next to me all the time. I'm gonna be like, you see this? With every line, that's what I'm gonna do. If my husband had to sit there and watch every line that I wrote to someone on Instagram, there would, I mean, you have no trust in your relationship at all. At all. That's pathetic. Absolutely sad. Because I don't want anything like this to ever happen again. I'm not going to, I thought you blocked her, man. You didn't block her? Yeah, you're gone. Now you're blocked. That was her. That was her right there, and she's gone now. I thought you blocked her. Okay. Onward and upward, and hopefully people will stop trying to break two people up that really love each other a lot. And when left to our own devices, um, we just love each other. And it's really awesome. So... I love my marriage and I love Shani. And that's it. You want to say anything or no, hon? Okay. Jesus is king. So, my lovies, happy Sunday. Um, I just finished this just now. <laughs> and I realize I have more that I have to go through. But um, I think it's really, really sad and pathetic that uh, Shannon would come back online with guns blazing and Rev will just sit there yup 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 because like I said Shani has nowhere else to go there is no other options other than Jason could you imagine <laughs> could you imagine having no one no friends no family no one that will speak to you and the only person you have in your life is Jason and you're so morbidly obese that you can't do things yourself including wiping your own behind so really in reality rev can do whatever he wants because what are you going to do about it shannon nothing you have no other options you've gotten yourself into a situation where you have no place to go you have no money of your own you have no nothing to offer anybody you have no skills you have no education and if you did they're long gone now so what are your options, Shannon? Nothing. You have no other options other than Jason Egroff for the rest of your life. So enjoy that. But before you run around saying that Anja or myself or anyone else was included in the Aaron Carter suicide clan, you better watch your mouth and you better know what you're talking about because you sounded like a complete buffoon. I, I, I don't know anyone on this planet that doesn't know that what really happened to Aaron and you're going to sit there and repeat over and over and over again that he unalived himself. Personally, I take that very seriously and it just shows me how fucking ignorant you are. But whatever, it doesn't matter. These two people will be the disgusting scum of the earth that they are. They're not going to change. They're not going to get better. There's no hope in them getting jobs and getting their lives together. This is it. So watch how pathetic it is and uh, enjoy the show because I'm not stopping anytime soon, especially now. So um, I'll be going to see my mom today and uh, then I will start working on the third video. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Thank you for listening to me ramble and thank you for supporting me. And you can hit the like on the way in or the way out. And I truly appreciate you and I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye. Oh, oh, shit.
Don't worry, just another day in the same old shit dick in my pockets, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Yeah, huh. But that don't mean that I fall.